Hi everybody, uh, welcome to this video. Uh, as you can see, <laughs> as you can hear right now, I will change a bit my habit and I will speak in English in front of a camera in the first time. So obviously you will notice my very strong French accent. I'm not a native speaker, but I wish everybody will understand. So today's idea is very simple. It's to make a trigger box for Type 96 with all the material coming from a single DIY shop Castorama, that is a very big DIY shop in France. And the total cost is 32.74 euros. Uh, but you need to know that with this price, you can make at least three trigger box because there is three springs here. Before to start the manufacturing, let's give a look to the 3D model. I'm recording this sequence at the end, and you may notice some difference between this 3D and the part you will see later. Right and left carters are designed to be cut with a 30x30 angle steel. I designed trigger box like that since quite long because it's probably the easier way to find the materials while being extremely strong. The parts are held together with 4M4 screws and the screws are also used as axes for the internal parts. The sears and the trigger are made with 12x12 steel. The big leverage between the trigger and the trigger sear will make the trigger pull as light as possible. A single spring is pushing back the trigger sear and the trigger itself. The return of a piston sear is usually the most annoying part for a custom-made trigger box, because it's almost impossible to make complex DIY torsion springs. I propose you here a simple and efficient way to achieve this movement with basic traction spring and a homemade chain link. The traction spring is placed horizontally and the chain link avoids the interference with the spring guide stopper being on the way. This combination is the only innovation in this design, but I'm quite proud of it. All the technical drawings are available in the description of this video. Okay, so I just finished to cut my pieces and we can check the dimension quickly. So we are supposed to be at 20, not bad. 74, not bad. And 30. Perfect. So I did this for the two pieces for the carter. At the end it will arrive like that. So this will be the carter for the trigger box. I need to uh, make a machine in here, here. Uh, now I'm going to cut the raw pieces for the trigger, for the trigger sear and for the piston sear. Here is finished. Uh, I just spent like 30 minutes finding it to the good profile. Um, once again, this surface uh, where the trigger sear is catching is quite important. The one where the um, piston is catching is important. 
everything else is almost cosmetic so no need to be extremely accurate but about the main dimension supposed to be 6 we are at 604 so not so bad supposed to get 12 1204 good also and here we are supposed to be at 24.5 we are at 51 93, 93. Not bad. Five cents. Let's say it's quite okay. So now I will make the cut at the top. Okay, so here 14.5, 51, not bad, and here it's supposed to be minimum 30, and we are at 30 or 3. Quite good. Six and a half hours later. Hi again, uh, no more battery, so I work a bit faster than I was planning. Uh, I just finished the left part and almost finished the right part for the right part. I'm just missing the cut at the back, this one. And, but before to, before to do it, uh, I want to drill uh, all the hole for the, for the carter. If you don't have a set of tap, uh, you can just use longer screw with nut, but because I have and because I want to make something clean, I will tap in the part. And I will use M4.
bad. So still have to make the trigger here and the trigger. The next day. And good news, working. Bad news, not working. Twenty minutes later. Okay, so I finished to do it again. Uh, I went a bit freestyle on the shape, it's supposed to be straight at the back, but I cut uh, some kind of a curve just because I used this type. And now, going back to the front for three times, for three times. Okay, so I just finished the trigger. Uh, this is clearly the more complex part to, to make because it's a lot of filing. And I tried to make something quite pretty, which this it is. Mm, for the function, it is working. Let me show. Oh, trigger. Look. Shoot. About that is working, but I think the trigger is sitting a bit too front, and I will add something that is not on the drawing. Um, I will add an adjustment screw. So, in fact, I will just make an M3 thread here, and when I will tighten the screw by the back, uh, the screw will push against this surface, and I will add, it will be possible to adjust a bit the position like that. Because, in fact, the shooting position it's here. So it's totally possible to adjust the trigger like that, vertical, 
without having any shoot. So for this, I will just note the position here. And I know the screw need to be 1.5 mm lower than this line. generous on the WD-40 to avoid the rust because there is absolutely zero protection for the moment. I may try later to make a black oxide. Uh, there is something I want to try to let the part rust slightly so we need to have just a very thin layer of rust everywhere and then you boil the part inside water. That's supposed to be uh, to make a nice black oxide. I may try it later but for the moment. Finish. Here to be sure the trigger here can move laterally and uh, to ensure that the spring height stopper is not stopping it. Uh, but it wasn't the main problem. The main problem was the piston here was a bit too high, and because of that, when you pull, uh, the piston here is moving backward, backward, backward. But it, because it's too long, it cannot jump back in position. Uh, I remove like I don't know 0. Point something, 0. 0.5 maximum, and now. Again. So let's reassemble everything and uh, let's see if it's fitting inside the stock. A few moments later. Okay, so after a bit of tweaking, everything is working fine. The piston here was a bit too high. Uh, and something else also, the uh, trigger was touching a bit the trigger guard. Uh, I modify a bit the trigger guard inside. But as you can see, and the trigger pull is really really light. After shooting, the trigger is, uh, is free like that. And when I will cock the gun, you will see the trigger moving. Voilà. And it's reset, ready to go. And when it's cocked, there is absolutely no 